Hey guys, it's Classical Stars, and today I'm redesigning an old original character concept. Before we jump into it, shout out to the YouTuber who inspired me to make this video, Periwinkie or Periwinkle. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm gonna call them Perry. Perry has done videos revamping old original characters and old stories, and I haven't really touched the story in two years, so I figured, why not? Let's give it a go. Links in the description, please check Perry out, and let's jump right into it. This is Rosemary Morningstar. Rosemary was the protagonist of my sitcom Slice of Life comic idea called The Morning Stars. Because I'm creative, okay? <laughs> anyway, the concept was simple. The family of the devil himself travel around the world throughout time and trouble ensues. So they settled in this town, I can't remember exactly what it was called because I can't find any of my written information anymore. I didn't really have an antagonist in mind for this series, and the plot didn't really go further than Rosemary's main desire to live as a normal girl for once, and her crush on the local priest's son. She also was a pizza delivery girl, which just amused me to no end. This was after I broke into my own style, so you can also see the progression I've made in my art until now, basically, so I suppose that's a nice little bonus. What I wanted to do with the series was create a modern day scenario about a weird family. Inspiration to make this came from media such as The Addams Family and Lucifer. I also really love when tropes are taken and subverted, and whilst I'm not religious and identify as agnostic, for some reason the idea of morning stars just really appealed to me. Rosemary herself was named after the 1968 movie Rosemary's Baby, a movie where a woman supposedly has the child of the devil. I've never actually seen this movie, but I thought it would be cool to nod towards it. Her design before was simple but boring. It didn't really tell much about the character herself, so this time I tried to make it fit the kind of goals that Rosemary would work towards. So I gave her dungaree shorts, or overalls as I believe the Americans call them. These very much remind me of when I was little and I would run around in dungarees too. So to me it gives off kind of innocent good girl kind of vibe. I also gave her a blouse underneath, just to make her look a little bit more serious and studious. She's aiming to be the girl next door after all, and the girl next door apparently is an A-plus student in her eyes. I also gave her trainers to go with the look just because I thought it looked nice. I had debated on giving her a knitted cardigan as well, they just didn't seem to work very well with what I had. I remember vividly defending why I had given Rosemary red hair once. This was because I wanted to go with a few old superstitions. For example, red hair was seen as a trait of children of hell. Freckles and moles were seen as markings by demons. I didn't give her freckles before, so this time I thought I'd go for two markings under her eyes to make her look a little odder than your average girl. A few hundred years ago, she wasn't quite the same goody-goody you see now. She's meant to have always been a bit of a wild child, and by that I mean she once burned down a whole town because someone dared scorn her in the 1700s. So she's clearly lightened up quite a bit. <laughs> Rosemary has always had a more demonic form which I wanted to keep simple just to make it easier to draw if I were to bring these comics back. I don't intend on using the semantic form very often, if at all, but I did want to look to contrast between her human look and also her outfit as well as even her hair. I wanted it just to look more different. So there we have it, this is Rosemary Morningstar. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed seeing how I redesigned my old character concept. I hope you have a very good evening, thank you very much, bye!